Hey, what's up, guys? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you are um William, it looks like you are just trying to shake it off, shake it off, y'all. Listen, I, what's up, Sussex Squad? I have a question. Are the directors okay? And I mean that with all honesty. Are they okay? Do you know that they are out here in these streets? What's up, Nikki Rayer? And what's up, Quartz? I'm back. Tagging my folks, talking about, yeah, look at this beauty. Harriet, Megan, Wish. This is the royal couple. To which I said, what, where do you see a couple? I see a single dad doing a rollout. I will stand by this 100%. I believe the negotiations are up. Kate thinks she's won. Unfortunately for Kate, it's not going to last at all. Why is that? Because at the end of the day, William seems not to be able to stand her. And here's the one thing, Kate is stupid for even taking whatever agreement she got with William. Why do I think there is an agreement? Well, as much as the derangers want to act like nothing's going on, Kate literally actually did disappear for about six months, then popped up again with new teeth, new nose, new face, new skin, literally looking like Miss Newbody. And you know what the funny thing is? Remember how before, this is just a little side note tangent, Remember how before when um, Kate was like, the palace was like, we can't say anything if they're bullying Megan. And then somebody, a surgeon in uh, uh, old Britannia was like, yo, you know, Kate got Botox, Botox, and we can do better Botox than what she got. And I said, yeah, you and everyone else. So I was like, okay. And then the palace came out and said, how dare you? Kate does not have Botox. Well, when Kate was missing last time for six months and they were putting out fake photos and fake videos, you remember when it was going all around Twitter that Kate had gotten a BBL and that hurt the palace's feelings so much that they literally went off on everybody saying, how dare you say a princess of the realm had surgery? And I said, okay. And Kate popped out for new face. I said, baby, if we throwing them out. If it hits you, just feel free to holler. And I said, okay, I see what's going on. So a hit dog will holler. And it looks like we were like, what, 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 right? Kate was getting it. So anyway, um, so where are we at? Kate disappeared. I actually think when Kate, when William was like, yeah, I'm leaving you or whatever it was, right? She tried to put her foot down and said, um, you know, you can't do this without me. And William said, I can do this without you. And not what's more, I will enjoy doing this without you. Okay. I think Kate said, well, I'm not doing anything then. Good luck. And William said, I don't even need you. I can Photoshop you in. I can make fake videos. Okay. Now the funny thing is William hadn't been so lazy and William had been like, yo, hold on, I'm getting to like the Taylor Swift and William stuff. I didn't forget that. If um, William hadn't been so lazy, he would have gotten away with it. Because honestly, Kate always disappears for a spell. And then she pops up with bad Botox by this. We thought something was wrong because William said, well, I ain't working either. And we were like, oh my God, wait, is Kate okay? Because you're not working it. We didn't realize that they were just so lazy. In any case, it seems like whatever negotiations they had, um, Kate was very happy about, she showed up looking super smug and super happy at Trooping of the Color. You remember that, right? So, but here's the thing, why Kate's an idiot and how even though, and she thinks she's getting the benefits because Kate wanted what Megan, they tried, Kate wanted a half in, half out. Kate wanted to show up at Trooping, be the darling of the nation, she then wanted to show up, I bet you anything, at her Christmas together, get fully paid, get pampered, get this, but still pop her head in enough to remain like at the top of that social hierarchy, to pop in enough. Here's why Kate's so stupid, because even though she thinks she got what she wanted, we did sit William chilling with Kate's parents at Royal Oscat. He even grabbed Kate's mother's arm when she got stuck in the grass because the funny thing is i see they were trying to do a megan y'all saw megan tiptoeing and it's so small here's the thing megan just lives her life and she is a trained actress she knows how to walk on at press events on grass she's a yoga ballet like she knows how to do it i said oh yeah that's cute most people that have a little bit of whatever can do something like that but i think the royal family is so redundant so lackluster so whatever 
that when they see Megan do anything, they get jealous because they want to do it themselves. Hence, remember when Megan was walking across the grass at the polo match and her heels didn't sink in and we were like, oh, okay, like just walk on your tippy toes. I think a lot of the royal family were like, wait, why do we have to wear those things on our feet? So Carol Middleton, I lie to you not, decided to go on grass without the little heel guards, but she doesn't know how to balance on tippy toes, which I my guess would be it's hard to balance on tippy toes when you're on your fourth or fifth chronicle, I mean, documented glass of wine in under two hours, right? Well, she got stuck in the grass. William came and helped her out. And then he stood talking to them. Again, these are part of the negotiations. You let me have the kids when I want. There won't be a problem. You can remain princess as well. You don't have to come out because as much as Kate tried to make it seem like she's mother of the year. She has nannies, cooks, dressers. Literally, you give the kids hugs, great. That's even maybe, because that trooping of the color, I don't know. Seemed like something was going on with that family, but you know, maybe it's because the kids are too young for that and their parents are trotting it out, trotting them out because they're the only people that they don't feel in competition with yet. We'll wait till Jordan and Charlotte start being the ones to truly um, get all the shine away from their parents, okay? So anyway, she thinks she's getting everything she wants. The only thing Kate, and basically it is like an arrangement that Philip and the queen happened. He had his long-term girlfriend, they had a loveless marriage. When Philip died, Penny Lancaster, Philip's long-term companion friend was there. They had an understanding. I'm sure the queen had her royal guard dresser or whatever too, right? Probably the person that was helping her train her racehorses. But here's the thing why Kate's so stupid and why this is going to blow up in her face. Two reasons. One, the reason it worked like, like for Philip is because Philip actually showed his face everywhere. You can't not, like he worked so much that he it was an integral part of the kingdom. And even then he was still disposable, but he was a mess. Kate doesn't work. She doesn't want to work. Kate is lazy. She literally, and listen, I give it to her. Like, I had the kids. I married into this BS. I'm not working. She married to be a kept woman. The only thing with Kate is she wasn't happy with that because even though she married to be a kept woman, she still 100, even though she married to be a kept woman, Kate still, hold on really quick, you guys. So anyway, even though Kate married to be a kept woman, she's still so jealous. She still wanted to be in front of everybody. And when you mix that with Megan, it really, it doesn't work. Kate, there's no way you're going to outshine Megan. Not because it's a competition. Not, and I'm not getting into who's prettier, who's more educated, who is a better worker, who's a better public speaker, who's a better dresser. Because we all know the answer to that. And it's not one that the Rangers are going to like. I'm getting into the fact of, at the end of the day, Kate wants to be the only star on the show, but she also wants to be lazy. And you can't want to be the prettiest, the fairest, the best dresser, the most liked, and uh, the best public speaker. But you don't want to, you know... But you don't want to put any work in. You can't just get those things like accolades. But then again, Kate knows the family she moved into because yes, she can. Because didn't they just pass out medals to themselves? Didn't they think of five of the bravest uh, uh, people in the UK and they gave it all to the royal family? They literally just give each other gold stars. And it seems like the royalists literally bow down like that. Now, so what does this have to do with uh, Kate? The second reason. William can't stand you. Even in Trooper of the Color, there's a lot of videos online that show William, like, like, and Kate, you know, Kate, she has this thing where she curses people out, like, through her teeth, like, and you can only tell because you see her bottom teeth bearing. And William looks like he got in Kate Taste, which is for a second, but he was like, listen to me, William cannot stand Kate. So right now, it seems like a great deal. Except for Kate's stupidity, William actually now is having his single dad roll out. And I'm not going to lie, William actually seems more likable and more fun as a single dad. I saw him at Taylor Swift's concert and I said, Travis Khaleesi better get your girl because if William is eligible or even not, I mean, come on, plenty of people have had princess as lovers. Now, I'm not suggesting that Taylor Swift would ever do that. I'm just saying Travis Khaleesi get in there. But also they have a new PR agent, right? 
Kate goes back to her very quiet life, not doing anything, not going anywhere. And William gets to take the dad to his kids to all the fun stuff. Again, he is being rolled out as a single father, taking the kids to the concert. People being like, oh, this is the only royal couple. There is no royal couple. I only see a dad and his children. They're going to Taylor Swift's. William's convulsing, trying to have a moment like Megan did at Renaissance. All this stuff is going on. But getting back to Kate's fatal mistake. Because kitten, munchkin, copy, right? Lazily's. Once the nation gets used to William being a single father, he doesn't need you anymore at all. See, the reason why they would never accept a divorce now is because Diana, unlike Kate, looked like a doting mother. And the children were much younger. Kate, as much as she likes to say, I was helping Lewis with his homework, she is, if the nation stops seeing her, as a doting mother. And when I say it, being seen is to be believed. If they stop actually literally seeing her as a doting mother and only see her come out two times a year, but all the other times we see the husband doing stuff, playing, having fun with the kids, then at the end of the day, even though uh, Kate seems to have won the battle over separation negotiations, she will not win the war because once a deeply misogynistic monarchists and royalists see you not as fulfilling your use as a woman and a mother, then William will be free to divorce you with their blessing because you are not keeping up your end of the misogynistic battle. Again, you guys, the Taylor Swift concert is just the beginning. William's Father's Day thing, just the beginning. Even at trooping, yes, I know Kate came with the children. Again, they weren't even together at trooping except when they had to stand together on the balcony and then ride in the same car. And when that happened, they put George in between them while they were driving. Kate's an idiot. And I hope whatever she got from this, I hope there was actually some cash involved because if she thinks this bought her any type of time, if anything, all they did was say, listen, William, you still don't have to be with her. Just slow walk it just slow walk it again your only thing is presenting as a doting mother and a united and a unified family if they stop seeing you and get used to william just being there it's going to be very very easy to divorce because at the end of the day who could love kate pass the trolls and deranged people that are actually on twitter because again we don't know kate we don't see kate Anyway, you guys, let me know uh, what you think in the comments. I think I'm on to something here. Shout out to Kate's Plastic Surgeon. They did a great job. Um, I think, no, uh, what is it, facelifts or whatever she had done last like three to seven years. So I don't know, in seven years, are we asking where is Kate again? You guys, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.